If you haven't already heard, superannuation contribution limits are going up on the 1st of July, 2024. Now this is great news for Australian expats, Australian residents, really anyone looking to retire back in Australia or even relocate to Australia, given what this means for both tax deductions and long-term retirement planning. Now, first and foremost, the concessional contribution, this is usually the one your employer contributes when you're working in Australia. For expats, it can be a voluntary tax deductible contribution that gets taxed at 15% on the way in. This limit is increasing from $27,500 to $30,000 on the 1st of July. Now, why this is also particularly valuable is the carry forward concessional contribution limit which allows us to utilize the last five financial years worth of unused contributions, they can also be rolled into our super fund. What this means is that we could contribute about $132,500 in addition to our super contribution limits into our super fund and claim that as a tax deduction. Now with a higher limit from next year, that carry forward amount is going to continue to increase. Why is this important? Well, if we're moving back to Australia and we have all this unused money, we could potentially roll more into our super, offset more of our taxable income, save up for our retirement that little bit faster, but also pay less tax back in Australia. What it also means is that if we sell a property or realize a capital gain back in Australia, we have more power or more room to contribute to our super fund and offset that tax bill. So that's your concessional contribution allowance. The other one that is changing is the non-concessional contribution limit. This is your after-tax money, and this is increasing from $110,000 per year to $120,000 per year. Now, when I say after-tax, that just means that we're not paying 15% tax upon contribution and it's not designed to offset other taxable income back in Australia. So if you have savings in Singapore that you've already paid tax on here in Singapore, that money could go into a super fund and would be fully invested in Australian dollars or in whatever you wanted to invest in within the realm of superannuation. Now, why this is also particularly important is we have the bring forward, different to the carry forward, rule when it comes to our non-concessional limit. And what this allows us to do is to contribute three years worth of super contributions at once and then nothing for the following couple of years. So what that means is that I can do three years worth of 120, that's $360,000 into my super fund in one go. So let's just say that I'm sitting here in the last half of June, I could contribute $110,000 this financial year and then $360,000 in the first week of July into my super fund. That's $470,000 per person. So I could do this for my partner as well. That's $940,000 we can get into super, into arguably one of the most tax efficient vehicles for our retirement when it comes to Australia, that exists. So this is great news for Australians all over the world, particularly those looking to retire back in Australia. So don't ignore these changes. If you need to make changes to your ongoing super contributions or your overall financial plans, naturally reach out to your advisor, drop me a note in the comments, more than happy to book in a chat, but appreciate you tuning in. I hope that helps and gives you a bit of clarity on the superannuation changes coming in July, 2024.